Hi everybody, welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Carrot Club, a Twinkle Original. It was midnight in the supermarket and the veggies were sleeping soundly. Suddenly, Sally Sprout was woken by the sound of footsteps coming from the crate next door. She peered through a hole and was surprised to see a line of carrots disappearing under the counter. She decided to follow them to see what was going on. Sally saw a cardboard box with a door cut into the side. She knocked on the door and it was answered by a confused looking carrot named Clive. What are you doing here? asked Clive. Only carrots are allowed at Carrot Club. What's Carrot Club? asked Sally excitedly, looking past him as she spoke. In the background, Sally could see a pool table and a hoop for playing their favourite ball game, vegetable. Some carrots were bouncing on space hoppers. Some were doing karaoke and others were relaxing on puffy sofas. I'm sorry, said Clive. You'll have to go. Sprouts are boring and definitely not cool enough to come to Carrot Club. Only carrots are allowed at Carrot Club, he repeated. Sally returned to her crate feeling sad and cross. She told the other veggies, who were furious that the carrots thought they were cooler and more important than everyone else. The next night, the veggies followed the carrots to the club. One by one, they knocked on the door, but one by one, they were turned away. Pedro Potato was told he was too mucky to come inside. And Barbara Broccoli was shocked when the carrot said that her beautiful curly hair was not stylish enough. Billy Beetroot was upset that the carrots thought his lovely pink colour was not as funky as orange. That's it, he said. We need to teach those carrots a lesson. I may have an idea, said a mysterious voice from the shadows. It was Polly Parsnip. Meet me outside Carrot Club at midnight she said, and with that, she disappeared. There was a buzz of excitement as the veggies waited to see what would happen. Polly appeared out of the darkness, and although her face was still familiar, the veggies spotted one very big change. Polly was orange! She knocked on the door to Carrot Club, and, to everyone's amazement, was welcomed inside. She sat on the sofa telling jokes and she scored the winning point in every game of vegetable. Polly returned night after night, impressing everyone with her skills on the space hopper and her amazing karaoke talents. It wasn't long before she was the most popular carrot at Carrot Club. The other carrots told her how funny she was. They loved her fantastic hairstyle and thought she was a great shade of orange. One night, as Polly was arriving, she could hear laughter coming from behind the box. Pool party! shouted Clive as he jumped in with a splash. Come on, Polly! he called. Without thinking, Polly dived in. But before long, the water started to turn orange. The carrots gasped with shock and looked at Polly, who is now a very obvious shade of... Parsnip! I can't believe you're a parsnip, said Clive in amazement. We all thought you were a cool, funky and fun carrot. Well, I am cool, funky and fun, said Polly, climbing out of the pool. But I'm not a carrot. Who would have thought that a parsnip could be so interesting? said Clive. That's right, said Polly. I am interesting, and so are all these other veggies, but you never even try to get to know any of us. We're sorry, said the carrots, hanging their heads in shame. We'd love to get to know you all better. Tomorrow night you're all invited to Carrot Club. The next night, all the veggies arrived to find a surprise on the door. Maybe you are as cool as carrots after all, said Clive with a wink. So all the veggies had fun together at the new club 
and rumour has it they even invited the odd piece of fruit to come along too. The end. Thank you for listening and learning. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Kids always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.